setting goals is everything in life because you need to know what you're heading towards. But make sure that you set your goals responsibly. You can actually be someone that sets goals and ends up becoming less motivated, less inspired, less confident, and actually less well, with your well-being going down further and further and further. Why? Because you're setting goals and you're not achieving them. Taken from studies in sports psychology and performance psychology, the research is there, the findings are there, that if you set goals and you don't achieve them, it's actually worse than not setting goals at all. Because if you don't set goals, you can just coast through your entire life being average. But if you set goals and you say, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to achieve it by one, two, and three, and you don't do it, you are now conditioning yourself to believe that you are not a person of your word. And there is nothing worse than that. Not being a person of your word, not walking your own talk. You actually, over time, as you continue to set goals and not achieve them, and set goals and not achieve them, and set goals and not achieve them, your confidence going down, your inspiration, motivation going down, your wellness decreasing, you start to not even believe yourself in life. You start to not trust yourself. And this is why one of the many reasons it is so incredibly important to have a coach or at least an environment that allows you to be a coachee, to be coached, so that you are continuously looking to grow and become, to live in a growth mindset, so that you can achieve your goals in a healthy way, in a way that it does actually motivate and inspire you, build your confidence, and build and increase your well-being, your overall wellness in your life, and your what I call high-performance balance. When you want to, when you set goals responsibly, or when you have someone help you set goals responsibly, you can actually talk about the goals and say, is this realistic? Are we biting off too much, uh, too much for us to chew, if that's the right saying? Do we need to lessen the goal? Do we need to uh, decrease the goal? Do we need to make it a little bit smaller so that we can make it as easy as possible for us to stay consistent? Many years ago, when representing Tony Robbins, I spoke at an event in Dubai and I inspired the audience and I asked for action takers in the room. And one of the gentlemen stood up and said, I'm going to set a goal to spend an hour with my family before I leave to work every single morning. And I said, sir, this sounds super inspiring. But let me ask you this. How much time do you spend every day with your family now before you go to work? And he said, I don't. So if he said that he doesn't spend any time and now miraculously or magically he wants to find an hour every single day. He's setting himself up for failure. And if no one helps him set goals responsibly, he might come off the back of that talk and over and over again, tell himself that, oh, I said I would do this. I said I would do this. I said I would do this only to not do what he said. Confidence going down, belief in himself, belief in the ability to achieve his goals going down. Nothing wrong with him or nothing wrong with her or nothing wrong with you. It's just the wrong goal. So I asked this gentleman, I said, what would progress look like for you? And this is important. If it's one thing that you take, or if there's one thing that you take away from this video, it's this. What does progress look like? Focus only on that. Then when you've taken that idea of what progress looks like, put it into practice for however long you need to put into practice. When that has become a part of your identity, in this person's case, maybe now spending five minutes a day non-negotiably with his family. Now you can say, okay, well, if that's a part of my identity, what is my next goal? in this area of my life. I'd like to spend 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Same goes for the gym. 
If you're someone that doesn't go to gym or you're incredibly inconsistent and over the years you've kept telling yourself that you'll go to the gym and you just never fucking do it or you go and then you stop and then you go and then you stop, you are not the problem. Your goal is the problem. You already know that there are things in your life that if you only did them for five minutes a day, it would be massive progress for you. So in my spiritual gym community, I encourage people to set daily non-negotiables. Goals that can be integrated into your life as daily ingredients to help you become the person that you want to become, but not making them so big that you can't do them on a daily basis. And that could be five minutes of meditation, five minutes of exercise, five minutes of journaling, five minutes of an activity that focuses on your business. It can just be a few minutes of something. And actually, right now, whilst I'm filming this, I have a group of clients in a 12-week incubator where for 12 weeks, they're one month in right now. Their only goal working with me for 12 weeks is to choose 10 non-negotiables that they can stick to every day and do them every day. Little things like journaling. One of my clients says, oh, I want to listen to something educational on the way home from work or to work. Another client says, write gratitudes. I ask them to check in with me, answering some questions that take like two, three minutes every day. It's little things, but it's these little things that you do every single day or don't do that become the big things because it's the little things that you say you're going to do that you don't do that over time become your identity and your identity by not achieving the goals that you set out for yourself becomes, I am not a goal achiever. I cannot achieve my personal goals. I don't have time for my personal goals. I don't have space for my personal goals. Now is not the right time. All bullshit BS beliefs. You are not the problem. The goal is. So if you want help making your goals more achievable, if you want to make it as easy as possible for you to start staying more consistent in the areas of your personal goals than you've ever been in your life, join my spiritual gym community. It's an online community, an online app where you get exercises in physical mastery, mental mastery, and spiritual mastery so that you can live more consistently with discipline, wealth, health, and happiness. There's tons of courses in there. There's my one program called Ordinary to Extraordinary. It's a three-month coaching program that I used to sell for over $1,000. It's now in there for free. The membership for Spiritual Gym is currently $49 a month. It's only going to go up as the membership increases. You can cancel within seven days. You can read the whole or listen to the whole Ordinary to Extraordinary course. You can listen to the other modules in there. You can connect with the community. You can get everything you can from the spiritual gym and then leave within seven days and have it cost you nothing. I've made it this way on purpose so that you remove any kind of barrier that's stopping you from achieving your goals. Now, I talked a lot about not achieving your goals, not achieving your goals, not achieving your goals. Be careful when you're setting goals. You might be inspired, you might be motivated, but if you don't go do what it is that you say you're going to do, you're fucking your life up. You're fucking your mindset up. You're fucking your mental health up. Because over and over again, you keep conditioning yourself to believe that I can't, I can't, I can't. And that belief comes stronger, becomes stronger, becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. You are not the problem. The goals are the problem. Change the goals and start ticking them off every day. And when you do actually set goals that you do tick off and achieve every day, inspiration for your life goes up. Progress and feeling of happiness and fulfillment goes up. Motivation to go after the goals that you know you can achieve goes up. Your overall confidence, which benefits every area of your life, from your personal self to your relationships to your business your confidence goes up and your overall well-being, your wellness and your inner peace goes 
up because you do what you say. And you know more than anyone else in the world because of these goals that you have for yourself. You know more than anyone else in the world that I am a person of my word. And that becomes your identity.